guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I am heading up now to Edinburgh. We are here, Obi, uh, co pilot, I guess, is it? Obi? Yes, you are, boy. Yes, I am, Daddy. He's got his entire kit. This whole thing you guys saw in the last video is all up, and he is loving it so far. I mean, how long are we in? 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, so we have a little itinerary on the go. Um, first stop is like in the next 50 minutes so should be all right uh, but the the scenery and stuff so far is very nice obviously with it being 5 a.m. so it's pretty good to be honest so as you can see an amazing looking sunrise there just uh, over the fields and the mountain there, looking very nice. Um, but yeah, there is the journey. Let's continue on and let's get up to the first stop, uh, M5 Northbound Services. So we've just stopped now. Uh, we're on the M6. So uh, that's the access to the southbound. We're on the northbound, obviously. Obi is just doing his business. But yeah, we are on the road still. We are, I think, half an hour in front at the moment. Uh, it's just gone half past seven, or 10 past seven, sorry. We're meant to be uh, here at um, 20 to eight. So we're half hour ahead. Uh, we're gonna have some breakfast and stuff now as well. Get some McDonald's um, and all that, and of course, this is like a 50 minute stop. So we're gonna be quite a bit. Then Obi really stretches legs and um, have breakfast and then head back on the road. So we're near enough, uh, you can hear the road actually, M6, but we're near enough Manchester now. So um, yeah, we've, we've done quite well to be honest this morning. Traffic is fine, but uh, all should be well. Let's get some McDonald's. Just made it into Scotland then. Obi, I'm in the back with Obi, just giving him some attention, some human loving. But yeah, he's been sleeping and enjoying himself. He's actually been much better than I thought he would be, to be honest. He has had loads of things to do though, uh, and keep himself occupied. So yeah, um, nearly getting there now though. I'm just looking at the sat nav, I expected to see the sat nav, but my phone is in my hand. So yeah, we are half an hour till we stop now at the McDonald's. Uh, we're going to have some lunch and then we're going to be early, which is good. So probably need to see if there's a drop in Obi off at, uh, at a dog carer, I guess you could call them, a sitter kind of thing. So Obi's going to go with them for a few hours, go on a long walk and be proper worn out. So yeah, maybe I need to see if we, need, we can drop him off a bit earlier. So we'll see though, it should be fine. But he's been doing really well, only boy. We've seen some Swifties on the way, stopping at um, different services. We've seen one or two uh, there, but um, should be should be good fun. We're making good time, no traffic, touch wood, all is good. We actually made it. We've here, we're here. Got my Taylor swag on. Why did I just say swag? Why am I such a tool? Uh, we made it. We've got 45 minutes now until we can drop Obi back. Well, off, back off to his uh, sitter for the evening, and then we can head to the hotel. So it's pretty pretty good time-wise as well. So we've just picked up some McDonald's, of course. We had McDonald's for breakfast and then McDonald's for dinner, for lunch. I'm wearing in, uh, I'm wearing in um, Scotland. I've gone for, you can't even see it. It's an iron brew, basically. It's an iron brew, man. I've got my iron brew. But anyways, let's try some iron brew. Uh, I like stuff like this, Mountain Dew and all that kind of stuff. So, hmm. the, the mystery hand. <laughs> what do you think of it? <laughs> yeah, it's good. They should do that around the country too. Uh, I also got, um, I've been quite excited to try this. This is the Hattrick Burger. This is heavy, look at this. Food review channel. Why do they always look better in the pictures? Right, I'm gonna eat my hat trick minus the onion burger with my iron brew. Obi is here. Isn't he, Obi boy? He's such a good boy. He's so fixated on it. Hey, 
don't you lift your lips at me, boy. Right, we're ready then. We've arrived. We've got all of the Swifty stuff on. Um, I've got my entire outfit on. Gone for lover vibes. Yeah, it's like a, the era, I guess. Um, we've got to get a Uber because the uh, trains are all delayed and stuff. So a little bit annoying, but three minutes away. So I think we're doing a split share. So we might have other Swifties in the car. So should be fun. Hi there. For James, yeah? Welcome, right? No, yeah. we are indeed. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Have you had many fares for that? Or? Oh, too many. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really... People from America and Canada, when yeah. they pay a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We are still okay here, you know? Yeah. Well, we drove up from South Wales this morning. South Wales, okay. Yeah. 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 Four o'clock this morning we left, yeah. so... Pretty tired, long day, but you know. Uh, many people have tried, they couldn't get one of the tickets as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Come. it's gonna be really, really good. Yeah. Because look at the weather, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's paid off. Yeah. <laughs> nearly, nearly thought it was gonna rain at one point. Hey, you know, Edinburgh, you can't trust it, you know. Yeah. Rain can come anytime. We've made it to the Murrayfield ground, Scottish Gas Murrayfield ground. Um, first stop though is to go to the VIP merchandise collection and uh, collect our merch. So, a bit of issue in terms of getting it, so hopefully it's pretty straightforward. There we go, collected the VIP package. Um, very easy actually. So we got the VIP stuff, we walked all the way down there for 40 minutes and then a lady turned around and said, yeah, you're not in this entrance, this is standing only. So we have to now join this queue you just walk past and this is that queue all the way down there the north entry one yeah mega
morning after Taylor Swift now then. Um, of course, I will get into all of the content stuff in a bit, but here yeah, we're just checking out of the room. So this is the room, I didn't actually show it, but we had a massive window at the front. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing the sweep, getting the cases sorted, and yeah, gonna go check us out, so. Okay, so it says to leave the key in the room. It says check us at 11, we thought it was 10. Request can be made for late checkout, be granted whenever possible. Please leave key in the room upon checkout. So, sorted. So we stayed though, the Ox Gang bar and kitchen rooms. Very nice. And yeah, hydrate it. Awesome. Hello guys, so it has been a good couple of days now. Um, it is actually Tuesday since the Eras tour. And I'm still in my Eras era. Uh, love this hat, but it is a bit small, people say on me. Or maybe I just got a big head. How does that look? I mean, I look like I'm bald. Anyways, I have been to see Taylor Swift, obviously. Uh, this is my VIP badge. Um, yeah, uh, it's taken some time to actually like get used to it, obviously. We had the massive drive after the, the show, the day after, getting back to the hotel, getting Obi, all of that. There were some stresses getting out of Edinburgh, like the tram situation wasn't great. The buses, the Ubers, just nobody was accepting everything. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was very good in terms of getting back to where we needed to get to. And also, we had a deadline. So, yeah, it was one of those things. But seeing Taylor in the Eras tour, um, how do I actually show you this? There it is. But seeing Taylor, obviously, now in the Eras tour for the first time. Um, this was my seated one. Uh, this is my first of four shows. So, there's going to be three more vlogs coming soon. Um, the next one is my VIP stand-in one, so I'm going to be much closer than I was. The shots are going to be, like, insane. But on reflection, it just doesn't feel real, and it still doesn't feel real to me that I've seen Taylor Swift live. I think, you know, this is one of those concerts where it's very unique in the sense of I've seen a lot online about it. I've seen a lot of, like, performance stuff. I've seen a lot of, you know, I've even seen the movie, for instance. So I've seen the show multiple times already. So going to see it, you kind of want to expect some things to be a little bit different and they're not, they're the same. And not that you feel let down. I'm not going to say I feel let down by it, but it's a bit like even the, 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 the stuff that she says, like it takes the uniqueness out of it. It's more of a show than it is a gig. It's, I think I said to my friend, it's like the most un-gig gig I've ever been to in my life because there's not much interaction with the audience and what, all the points that she does interact she interacts in the same way as the movie uh to the point of oh hi and all that to the audience you know i get to play a sold out show in edinburgh and da, 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 and you make me feel like i'm the man like all of the bits that you expect in the film and see in the film champagne bomb speech and she says the same things more or less that's the kind of the only one that's a bit different i guess but there's just a lot of stuff that's the same and you know there's some gigs i go to and that you just don't know what's gonna happen like they just say things throughout each song and i get it the era still has to fit in 40 odd songs i get it but i'd easily get rid of mastermind and say midnight rain for instance and you know you could get two songs out eight minutes then you've got more interaction like you could have a minute in between eight different songs to then talk for instance and have that part participation element i guess but um but yeah other than that obviously the era tour was great it was really good and um, the view i had was well we had was amazing and the trip up itself was was awesome just to go to edinburgh for the first time and do a bit of traveling and stuff is always good so yeah so stay tuned for uh the upcoming video coming soon i'm going to be going to liverpool I'm going to night three in Liverpool. So that 102nd show, unfortunately not the 100th show because there's apparently going to be something happening on then. But we'll see, you know, I I'm going to be VIP. I'm going to be standing. So it's going to be an experience there to do the VIP standing stuff. I'm actually planning on getting to the stadium for 1 a.m. And I can't get in the stadium to 3 p.m. So I'll have the best part of 14 hours to wait until I can go into the show. So that vlog's going to be a bit different. I'm going to be on my own, so I'm going to have to be a bit more outgoing, let's just say, because I need to speak to people, so I need to go to the toilet, I need them to mind my space and all that. So, yeah, um, maybe we'll get some people on the vlog. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm going to have to be very extroverted, James, and very out there, you know, which is not me. But most people who know me will know me, that's not me, but I'll give my best shot, you know. So the Eras tour then, I've done the first one of four, on to the next one. An amazing experience, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've edited the video at this point and I'm very pleased with it and uh, yeah, pretty sick. But yeah, there it is, there is the Eras tour in Edinburgh, amazing show. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more. And of course, we'll see you in the next one at Liverpool. Goodbye.